history has taken quite a turn and completed quite a twist right behind here at Winston Churchill's old war office in London. This is where and this is from where he had strategized Britain's response to the Germans and the Japanese through the length of the Second World War, quite a momentous time in history for Britain. The old war office now opens this month as a hotel owned jointly by the Hinduja Group and the Raffles Hotels and Resorts Company, which is a part of the Accor Group. Britain's old defense ministry sold off this building back in 2014. The ministry had really run out of money to maintain it and given the dwindling defense uh, forces of Britain and their dwindling budget, the Defence Ministry really had no need for all these 580,000 square feet of space and two miles of corridors. Uh, who would you put in there to do what by way of defence? The building was sold on long lease for an undisclosed amount. So this space now here, 57 Whitehall, has been developed by Hindujas together with Raffles as a quite special hotel at a location that could hardly be more special. Right across from Downing Street, a minute's walk here and then of course with Big Ben and Parliament Square there and uh, Downing Street as we know is the residence of the British Prime Minister Trafalgar Square, a minute's walk on this side and from the rooftop we are told a uh, view into at least some of Buckingham Palace. This property has now been developed with 120 guest rooms and suites with a number of restaurants and spas. It also includes 85 residences uh, and we have nine restaurants, three bars. The old war office, uh, now called the uh, WW Hotel, is due to be inaugurated later this month on September the 26th. We are told that historical elements have been restored and uh, there's a new hand laid mosaic floor, uh, marble staircases, a grand ballroom, all the glamour that you can think of, it seems, and more. It will have a number of heritage suites to mark out former rooms of Churchill and other leaders uh, who stayed here and worked here since it was built in 1906. Quite a landmark physically in London, quite a landmark historically, now intended as quite a landmark hotel.